All right, in this example, uh, we're given a uh, set of real numbers uh, uh, written using interval notation. And um, we uh, want to determine uh, which of the given numbers, A, B, C, uh, and D here, are contained in uh, this interval set. Um, so recall interval notation is a method for writing down um, certain uh, subsets of the set of real numbers. Um, in interval notation, uh, we write down two boundary values. And uh, the set, uh, the interval set, uh, is uh, contains all of the real numbers between uh, the two given uh, boundary values. Um, now, uh, we also use uh, square brackets and uh, parentheses um, uh, in interval notation. And uh, we use the square brackets and the parentheses to determine or to indicate whether the boundary values themselves are part of the set. So the set would contain all numbers between the boundary values. Um, if a square bracket is written beside one of the boundary values, that indicates uh, that boundary value is also contained in the set. Um, if a parenthesis is written beside one of the boundary values, that indicates that the boundary value is not contained in the set. Uh, so this particular interval set, uh, the set of real numbers between minus 1 and 10, um, includes minus 1 uh, because that's what the square bracket uh, tells us, but does not include um, uh, the other boundary value 10, uh, that's what the uh, parentheses uh, tells us. So that's, seen, that's a fairly uh, uh, simple set. Uh, and um, so it should be pretty easy to determine uh, which numbers fall in that set and which numbers do not fall in that set. Uh, so let's uh, consider each of these values and uh, make that determination. So uh, the first number we're given here is 100 raised to the 1 half power. And um, so you're going to have to simplify 100 raised to the 1 half power uh, to determine if um, that number is contained um, in that set or not. Let me change my uh, pin color here back to black. Um, so let's simplify 100 to the 1 half power. Uh, so recall uh, 1 half power means uh, a square root. So uh, 100 to the 1 half power is just another way of writing the square root of um, 100. And um, uh, 100 is a perfect uh, square, so we can uh, easily simplify this uh, uh, square root uh, to 10. So what we're really asking here in part A is, is the number 10 contained in this uh, uh, interval set. Now, 10 is a boundary value for the interval set, uh, but 10 itself is not contained in the interval set. That's what the open parentheses uh, tells us. So the number 10 is not uh, contained in uh, this interval set. Okay, now let's check uh, 10 to the minus 1 power. And so remember how to simplify um, uh, negative exponents. Uh, this does not mean uh, 10 times minus 1. Uh, what this means is uh, 1 over 10, um, 1 over 10 uh, to the first power, or 1 tenth. Well, 1 tenth, uh, notice that is a number between minus 1 and 10. That's slightly bigger than 0. So that is a number between minus 1 and 10. And so 1 tenth, or 10 to the minus 1 power, that definitely is contained in uh, this interval set. All right, now let's look at uh, part C here. Minus 10 to the 0th power. So again, you're going to have to recall how to simplify uh, this integer exponent 0. Uh, what does it mean to raise 10 to the 0 power? And so recall when you raise a base other than 0 to the 0th power, that simply means uh, 1. And um, now the minus sign is not, uh, this is, uh, is not also raised to the 0th power. This is not negative 10 to the, uh, raised to the 0th power. This is 10 raised to the 0th power. And then we, we apply the minus sign. Uh, so, um, uh, so when we apply that minus sign, we get minus 1. So uh, minus 10 to the 0th power is uh, minus 1. Now, minus 1 is one of the boundary values for this uh, interval set. Uh, so it may or may not be included in the set, but the square bracket indicates that the minus 1 is included in the set. So uh, minus 1 is part of this uh, interval set. And finally, now 10 to the 0th power, well, that's easy to simplify uh, considering example C. 10 to the 0th power when you have a base raised to the 0th power. Again, other than 0, uh, that's just going to simplify automatically to 1. We don't have to worry about a minus sign in this case. Uh, and so um, the question here is, is the number 1 contained in this set? Well, 1 is definitely a number between minus 1 and 10. Um, so the answer here is um, yes.